What if I told you there's a new fighter jet that could change everything we know about modern air combat? It's sleek, powerful, packed with cutting edge tech, and here's the kicker. It's not coming from the US, Russia, or even China. South Korea just rolled out a fighter jet that's making some of the world's biggest military powers sit up and take notice. Meet the KF-21 Boramai, the jet that could rewrite the rules of air superiority. What makes it so special? Let's dive in. The story of the KF-21 starts with ambition. South Korea didn't want to just buy fighter jets from other nations forever. They wanted to build their own. The KF-21 Boramai, a joint project between South Korea's KAI, Korea Aerospace Industries, and Indonesian defense contractors, marks a major leap for South Korean aerospace. The project, launched in 2001, is valued at around $7.4 billion and aims to produce a multi-role fighter jet that bridges the gap between older fourth-generation jets and the more advanced fifth-generation fighters, like the F-35. South Korea envisions the KF-21 as a versatile, cost-effective aircraft that could replace aging fleets of F-4 Phantom and F-5 Tiger jets, and also reduce reliance on foreign defense suppliers. One look at the KF-21 Boramai, and it's clear that this isn't a conventional fourth-generation fighter. Sporting a sleek and stealthy airframe, it's designed with many stealth features without being fully stealth. The KF-21's exterior is carefully crafted to reduce radar cross-section, which makes it harder to detect. Its aerodynamically optimized shape allows for a reduced profile, with sawtooth edges on its surfaces to scatter radar waves. Another notable feature is the blended wing body design, which contributes to its aerodynamic efficiency. Although not a fifth-generation stealth fighter like the F-35, the KF-21's radar-absorbent materials and optimized shape allow it to fly in contested airspaces with a much lower chance of detection than typical fourth-generation fighters. The KF-21 is powered by two General Electric F-414 engines, a proven powerhouse used in the FA-18EF Super Hornet. These engines deliver approximately 22,000 pounds of thrust each, providing the KF-21 with an impressive top speed of Mach 1.8, which is around 1,400 miles per hour. This speed, combined with its aerodynamic efficiency, allows the KF-21 to maintain high maneuverability and agility, making it a formidable opponent in dogfights and high-speed chases alike. While the F-414 engines are not indigenous, they provide high reliability and performance. South Korea, however, has expressed a desire to develop its own engines in the future, which would make the KF-21 a fully independent platform. At the core of the KF-21's combat effectiveness is its advanced avionics system. Equipped with an active electronically scanned array, AESA radar, the Boramai has powerful detection capabilities, allowing it to track multiple targets over long distances. The AESA radar provides higher resolution and is less susceptible to jamming, which is crucial for survival in electronic warfare environments. Additionally, the cockpit features a modern glass display system that gives pilots a clear and comprehensive overview of the tactical landscape. The heads-up display, CHUD, and other intuitive controls allow for rapid decision-making in high-pressure combat situations. The KF-21 also boasts advanced datalink capabilities, enabling seamless communication and data sharing with other allied aircraft enhancing situational awareness and coordination in joint operations. A multi-role fighter needs a versatile armament suite, and the KF-21 is no exception. Capable of carrying a wide array of weaponry, the KF-21 can be armed with AIM-120 AMRAMs for beyond visual range engagements, AIM-9 Sidewinders for close combat, and precision-guided bombs for ground attacks. 
South Korea has plans to integrate indigenously developed weapons, including air-to-surface missiles and advanced air-to-air -air missiles, further enhancing its operational versatility. In terms of payload capacity, the KF-21 can carry approximately 7.7 .7 tons of armaments. This capacity allows it to engage in extended combat operations and makes it a capable platform for a variety of missions, from air dominance and close air support to reconnaissance. The KF-21's weapons configuration also aims for modular adaptability which would enable it to accommodate future South Korean and NATO standard weapons, giving it a strategic edge in interoperability. In today's combat environment, electronic warfare capabilities are essential for survival. The KF-21's electronic warfare suite is equipped with advanced countermeasures, including radar warning receivers, RWR, electronic support measures, ESM, and infrared countermeasures, IRCM, these systems enhance its ability to detect, evade, and disrupt incoming threats such as enemy radar and missile systems. The KF-21 can also deploy chaff and flares to confuse radar-guided and infrared-guided missiles. This multi-layered defense mechanism provides enhanced survivability, allowing it to operate effectively even in highly contested areas. So, how does the KF-21 stack up against some of the world's most advanced and elite fighter jets? Let's take a closer look. The F-35 is widely regarded as one of the most advanced stealth fighters globally. Its unparalleled stealth capabilities, advanced sensors, and an internal weapons bay make it a formidable force in modern aerial combat. However, the F-35 comes with a staggering price tag, which limits its accessibility to a select few nations. The KF-21, while not quite on par with the F-35 in terms of stealth, delivers a solid balance of stealth technology, cutting-edge avionics, and multi-role capabilities. And most importantly, it does all of this at a fraction of the cost, making it a highly cost-effective alternative for countries seeking to modernize their air forces without breaking the bank. The Rafale and Eurofighter Typhoon are both incredibly capable fourth-generation plus multi-role fighters. They've proven themselves in numerous combat scenarios with impressive agility, versatility, and high-end avionics. While these jets remain some of the best in their class, the KF-21 takes it up a notch by integrating next-generation technologies. It combines advanced stealth features, superior avionics, and enhanced multi-role capabilities, effectively bridging the gap between fourth and fifth generation fighters. The KF-21's stealth profile and innovative technology place it ahead of these European competitors in terms of future proofing and overall capability. The F-22 Raptor is the undisputed king of air superiority, built for total dominance in air-to-air -air combat. Its unmatched combination of stealth, speed, and agility ensures that it remains the gold standard in air superiority. However, the F-22 is exclusively available to the US and select allies, making it out of reach for most nations. The KF-21, though not quite as specialized in air dominance as the F-22, offers impressive air-to-ground capabilities and versatility, making it a formidable all-around fighter. Moreover, with the KF-21 being designed not only for South Korea's Air Force, but also for potential international buyers, it has the added benefit of being a more accessible option for countries looking for advanced air combat capabilities without the exclusivity of the F-22. Looking ahead, South Korea has already planned multiple iterations of the KF-21. Block 1 focuses on air-to-air -air capabilities, while Block 2 will incorporate full air-to-ground functions, making the fighter even more versatile. There is even speculation about a potential Block 3, which could add internal weapons bays to improve stealth capabilities, bringing the KF-21 closer to a true fifth-generation standard. The KF-21 Boramai is more than just an aircraft. It's a testament to South Korea's aerospace ambitions and a symbol of national pride. With its advanced avionics, adaptable design, and cutting-edge weaponry, 
the KF-21 position South Korea as a rising player in the defense industry, both regionally and globally. As South Korea continues to enhance and innovate its aviation technology, the KF-21 Baramai stands poised to become a significant force in the Asia-Pacific theater and beyond. So, as we look to the skies, we can be certain that the KF-21 is ready to soar.